Right. Any questions anyone has? Yes. What does it signify? It signifies that you are in the same chain. You don't know that? Yeah. So I know that you know that. So what is your real question? They are. They are told it one. This is the Sunnah of the Prophet And there are many instances when bayat is given, either in Quran, Kareem, or in history, or in the lifetime of the Holy Prophet But one situation, and he say by told it one, the time when the Holy Prophet he was going to make the Hajj, the Sahabi Kiram. And the mushriks in Mecca stopped them. And he sent Hazrat Osman to go to speak to them. And word reached that they say, you cannot make Hajj, we stop you. Before the word reached, Holy Prophet took bayat from everyone that was there. Because the Muslims, they were growing. There were new people, there were old people, there were people who were strong, there were people who were not so strong there. They stopped Allah. We cannot even say that the Sahabi Kiram they're not so strong, you understand? But in that situation, I'm going to explain why. Prophet Laysatwasam says, Now everyone, I'm going to take bayat. I'm going to give you bayat, take bayat from me. And he did the same way, holding it like this, and everyone's holding it. And he says, I'm going to put my hand on top, representing Osman, you see? And Allah's hand is on us. So now you are connected. And he says, with the bayat, now you're going to submit to that guide, to the Prophet. Whatever he says, you're going to do. So when word came back that they stopped them from going to Mecca, and these are the ones who grew up in Mecca, especially the Muhajir, and they're missing Mecca so much, they got very upset, and they really wanted to go to war with them. Holy Prophet lays that was a stop the message. You remember your bayat. That is physical, it is also very spiritual, of course. Because now we are not the only ones who are holding. There are ones behind you. There are ones above you. There are ones around you. You are not just connected in this situation. You're connected with the people in the past. You understand? reaching all the way to the Holy Prophet and That one who is holding on, that one is connected now. So it is not, although it looks like it is straight, it is not. It is now a circle. It is complete now. When you're holding, it is complete. The past, the present, and the future, it is complete now. And so you get the blessings of that. And every time if someone is taking the bayat, it is as if you are renewing your bayat. You give bayat at that time. If people are understanding what the bayat is, we're going to say, renew my bayat every day. We cannot do that, of course. Because with the bayat, once you've taken it, you become completely clean. That one will just take your burdens. You become pure and you become clean like a baby who's just been born. And everyone who is together, especially holding on to the shoulder, they also benefit from that. They also become clean. Who doesn't need that? Of course you become clean. Why is that? Because it's not you holding on to me and me holding on to you. It's who I'm holding on to, my shaykh. 
And it is so easy for them to clean us. It is so easy for them to take all our wrong actions and intentions and to just throw it into the ocean of Rahmat. But what do you need? You need to hold on to them strongly. You cannot let go and you cannot refuse. That time, they cannot help you. And whatever burden that you have, now you will have to carry that by yourself. We cannot carry our burdens by ourselves. You understand? So inshallah, that we always have the shafaat of our Prophet والسلام, and his friends, his inheritors, the friends of Allah, in this life and in the next. May Allah forgive me, inshallah, and bless you, Al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This much is enough, inshallah. I'll see you again. Fatiha.